President Trump took to Twitter this morning saying, I will be nominating Christopher A. Wray, a man of impeccable credentials, to be the new director of the FBI. Wray is a former assistant attorney general, and he worked for President George W. Bush. Most recently, he represented New Jersey Governor Chris Christie during the Bridgegate scandal. Democratic Senator Mark Warner questions the timing of the announcement. Clearly, this is an effort by the president to try to distract attention from our hearings today and our hearings tomorrow. Two days of testimony about Russia's election meddling began this morning with President Trump's national security team appearing before the Senate Intelligence Committee. You, Director of National Intelligence Dan Coats testifies today. We have press reports of not once but twice that the President of the United States asked you to either downplay the Russia investigation or to directly intervene with Director Comey. We are in a public session here and I do not feel that I, it's appropriate for me to address uh, confidential information. Tomorrow, former FBI Director James Comey will face questions about reports that President Trump asked him to drop his probe into fired National Security Advisor Michael Flynn's contacts with Russia. CBS News has learned Comey will stick to the facts and will not say whether he believes President Trump obstructed justice. A source close to Comey told CBS News the president's outreach during an investigation made Comey uncomfortable, and he asked Attorney General Jeff Sessions not to leave him alone with Mr. Trump. A spokesman for the Trump administration says the president will be focusing on infrastructure improvements tomorrow during Comey's much-anticipated testimony. Mola Lenghi, CBS News, Capitol Hill.